Hey, how's it going? John Ellison here. Wanted to put together a video as the cherry on top of our Common Stack Prize application. Darren and I have decided to merge after an intro from Usama saying we had a super similar thought and vision in mind. So here we go, I'll run you through. We've been in a bit of a discovery phase over the last three or four months. Refi DAO was created really to hold the space to explore what a DAO uh, could look like that could coordinate the entire regenerative finance movement and really become the on-ramp and the home of Refi in Web3. So we believe that uh, the story of Refi is incredibly promising seeing these giants lay huge foundational building blocks in this movement, but also knowing that we have an enormous amount of challenges. We have this existing capitalist system that we have to leverage in order to heal the earth, and we have a lot of challenges around incentives that this capitalist system provides. Even though we have an opportunity in Web3 to redesign money and change its flow of value, we still believe that there are really big problems around how to coordinate all of these different actors in this space to encourage them to focus on doing one thing really well and to do that thing which they do best and to collaborate and uh, work together with everyone else and to create a kind of money Lego architecture of different building blocks that are playing a specific but integral role in scaling meaningful climate finance. And we see our opportunity here uh, kind of framed upon the Metcalfe's law value of an ecosystem approach. And rather than trying to focus on the number of members or um, you know, the size of the system as a whole, we feel that focusing on the depth of relationships and the quality of interactions between those members in the network will ultimately have the greatest impact. And this has been well evidenced by the Boulder startup thesis in Bradfeld's Startup Community Way and a lot of other academic research that shows this kind of startup ecosystem really is a complex adaptive system and the best way to have an impact is a kind of multifaceted approach that focuses on the interactions between the nodes. And this has informed our thinking to perceive Refi DAO as an ecosystem accelerator that wants to leverage some of these kind of um, impact to earn, play to earn style uh, gaming mechanics to accelerate this social movement. We see our role as focusing on those things which will have the biggest impact for people and the planet. And that ultimately is the challenge of Refi as a whole. We see an opportunity to do this through a community powered protocol that addresses these four things within the movement and uses public goods as a primary vehicle to do so. The first piece of this puzzle is around aligning incentives. As I've seen in my work at Klimadao and also Toucan, it's actually really hard to leverage a capitalist system to coordinate value and ultimately do the right thing. Uh, it's easy to focus on your own individual needs, but it's hard to look at the needs of the whole. And we believe that by creating Refi as a kind of dynamic index fund that gives every individual actor exposure to the entire movement, will create a new radical collaborative vehicle that will unlock an opportunity for people to work together that otherwise wasn't previously possible. So the idea here is we can found the ReFiDAO treasury and bootstrap it with a token swap between ReFiDAO and all the top ReFi protocols, leveraging their governance tokens to have a mutual stake in the game and to allow those people to say, hey, I've now got a vested interest and in all the other core actors in the movement and I don't have to negotiate each one by one how that relationship looked between my organization. And then once we have this basket of refi assets, that's really the baseline for a growing index fund that we can then sell to investors in exchange for more productive assets. And when we have these two pieces together on the left and the right, we have the basis of an ecosystem fund that can be deployed to accelerate impact. And that's the second piece around coordinating capital. We've really been inspired by um, the evolution of Curve, but also kind of put off by the dynamics of the Curve Wars. And we're wondering whether we can apply a very similar mechanism of impact gauges but instead of just focusing on liquidity, which probably is the first piece of this puzzle, seeing ReFiDAO as a long-term liquidity partner, we can also create gauges that allow people to stake ReFi tokens over longer periods of time uh, towards other areas such as lobbying, political activism, grant funding, and even venture capital as well. So this uh, next primitive here is around a refi ID that becomes the permissionless gate upon which anybody can access refi DAO and the power of the refi token. 
The idea here is that people can become a member by minting an NFT saying, this is me, my name, how I look, and my voluntary contribution to the DAO in form of a tax. Similar to how return protocol works, this would basically say, okay, you're going to commit X percent of every transaction through this wallet, great. We'll take that as a stream of value into the treasury and the protocol in return will issue you refi tokens as a function of the impact that your activities are having on chain. And this could work for individuals, organizations, and also network validators to really create a trifecta of economic alliance between all of the core different actor types in the movement. And this would create a consistent stream of capital value into the DAO and also create a demand source for refi tokens on the other side. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, what does impact look like? That's kind of subjective. We totally agree. And that's where we see the last kind of economic primitive here being a decentralized impact score where different members that join the DAO can create proposals to say, we believe that this has impact and should be incentivized through the issuance of refi tokens. And so this diagram is a visual that shows how we would potentially measure the impact of any given members on chain activity by issuing um, refi tokens as a function of an impact score. So you could see members that are very carbon centric saying, hey, we feel burning you know, low quality carbon credits like BCT and getting them out of the market should be incentivized and we should disincentivize people from providing liquidity for low quality credits and incentivize people for providing liquidity for high quality credits. You could then see this emerging across different areas, regenerative living, social justice, charitable causes, universal basic income, and even boring but really important things like governance participation. Imagine if people could get rewarded for participating in governance, showing up to discussion events and actually voting. Um, this could be really powerful. So this kind of closes the loop to say that once we have this decentralized impact score, we could effectively validate people's um, proposals for capital in the DAO by quickly scanning their NFT refi ID, seeing what their activities are and determining, are they aligned with my personal mission, vision and values? And then therefore, do I want to vote according to uh, this person's behavior and their previous history on chain? So uh, this is kind of the beginning of our thought. We've got a few different primitives here, which would all be open source and serve as public goods for the movement. The refi ID, which gives access to the DAO and a stream of refi tokens, a decentralized protocol that defines what impact looks like through different um, refi ID holders, the ability for people to stake refi tokens across different impact gauges um, using the uh, impact score as the footprint, and then the part of the protocol that actually streams these tokens to wallet holders as a function of the impact score and amplified by the staked tokens in the gauges. This is our thought. We'd love to explore what building this together with Common Stack could look like. And if this could be the foundation for the next regenerative commons, we'd be super grateful to build this future together. And who knows, maybe there's something else in store, but this is our current thinking. Thanks for your time today, Usama and friends, and we'll hope to hear from you soon. Peace be with you.